Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's nothing like coming back to work, work two days, and then get two days off. But since tomorrow's Easter, I gotta do some cooking. My, I'm getting together with my sister and my dad. My dad's bringing lobster tails, <laughs> but he doesn't want it. So now we have to come up with something that he'd wanna eat. But he does want my deviled eggs, which are amazing. Um, I made that chicken, Greek chicken soup today. So I'm gonna tell my sister, how about Greek chicken soup for dad? Cause I really don't want to cook tonight. Or get him like a turkey breast or something. I'm already done. I cooked <laughs> once this month. That's <laughs> for something. That's cause I was up at four o'clock in the morning and I'd already made like the bone broth. So I was like, I might as well eat chicken, make chicken soup. That's what I had for breakfast, chicken soup. If you guys have not tried my recipe, I posted on the collective. Is that the lemon one? Yes. Just put in chicken and the recipe comes in. You buy a rotisserie chicken from Costco and you just pick off the, the breast meat. That's all I do. And then you, in your Instapot, you put the rest of that whole chicken in there, water, some bouillon, and if you have any vegetables laying around, some salt, and then do it for three hours and voila, there's your bone broth. Does it completely disintegrate, basically, the bones and stuff? Or do no, you have to, like, strain it. it out? Then you strain it. Does the, does the meat all disintegrate, or do you nope. strain all that out, too? You strain it all out. Oh, but the dark meat's waste, the best part. Okay, then you can pick <laughs> off everything. I don't like... I'm just curious. How many people like picking meat off a chicken? If I could wear tight rubber gloves, I don't even want to touch it so I just try and grab a chicken breast and a chicken breast and here's my thinking for $4.99 I get two chicken breasts and 12 cups of bone broth that's a good value now you could get a lot more meat but I don't want to touch the chicken with my fingers I'm like I literally have a Costco rotisserie chicken right now I'm like oh yeah like, you have an instapot I do but well, I'm still eating the chicken Pick off the chicken. You don't even need chicken on it. And then you just put your bone broth in the freezer. It's easier. Good morning. Eileen, did your husband tell you Everly and I said to say hi? She did because she said something yesterday. I mean, we were at Trader Joe's and I go across and I was like, uh, I'm like, aren't you Eileen's husband? I'm sorry, I couldn't remember his name. But such a nice man. Anyway. I can debone a chicken after it's cooked. I yeah, I don't like touching it, Chris. That's the problem. I, my fingers don't want to touch chicken. Just it's wear creepy. some latex gloves. Yeah, I ooh, or I the like non-latex ones. Yeah, those are you know. creepy too. I got I got some cork, corks. I freely admit it. <laughs> this For is, somebody who likes to cook, that's a weird cork to have. Do you know what it is? This is childhood trauma from my dad grew up with not a lot of money and we had to clean the bones of everything, right? Cause that's a luxury for him, but I don't like bones or grizzle or fat. So thank God for my younger sister, she didn't mind it. So I would literally, when he wasn't looking, I'd pass my meat over to her and she'd give me the bone. And so I could pretend like I did it, but I don't know. Mm -mm. That's why I only like hamburger and filet mignon. And I really only like chicken breasts. My kids didn't even realize chickens had bones until they were grown-ups. That's how bad it is. That's a good idea, double gloving it. If it's warm, it's not so bad. When it's cold, I mean, you guys, I'm all over the place because I've been up since probably 3.30 in the morning. But there was, now that it's going around. Right. Now that Easter's around the corner and you're going to have your hard-boiled eggs, but you want to use them, have you guys seen the TikTok trick before you boil your eggs? Because everyone knows fresh eggs are a bitch to peel. And I'm just mm -hmm. going to say that. It sticks. Month-old eggs are the best. Right. Because the membrane separated. So there was a trick on TikTok. So we'll just say here's the egg. And it's the fat part of the egg. And you gently tap it with a spoon and you can hear it ping and that means the membrane separated from the eggshell and it peels and I tried it 
Hmm. So just to let you guys know, I'll do a video. I have so many videos to show. Uh, Darla, I literally videoed what's in my, what was in my suitcase. So I'll post that for you because I wanted you to see. Thank you, Kathy. I just did my nails last night. So look, I couldn't decide. So one side has uh, Easter regular and then I just did tips like a French. So very fun. Good morning, Deb. So just you guys, I'll let you guys know, but if you have to peel boiled eggs and it's not fun, tap, tap, tap on the whitest part and you can hear a ping. I've never heard that trick. See? Before you boil them or after? Before you boil them. And you literally can hear it ping. Huh. Stacy, for me, it only works if it, uh, if they're not fresh. The eggs are super fresh right now, and I have to make deviled eggs tomorrow, so I'm going to try it. Well, they do peel easier out of the Instant Pot, though. I agree they with do. that. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to pay attention. You just set it and forget it. Oh, yeah. Melanie says it'll be hysterical seeing your suitcases. You guys, you're not going to believe how little I pack. It's amazing. There's a new site called Lemonade. What does that mean? Instead of TikTok, there's a Lemonade. I'm writing this down. Don't give her more videos to watch. It's why? <laughs> okay, because that whole shalut, whatever's going on with TikTok, I haven't done any more TikTok videos because why do it if it's going to go? I didn't even know there right. was anything going on because I don't. Well, yes. I had to take TikTok away from myself because I wasn't getting any sleep. Yeah. Okay, what's even worse is I won't be answering Jack. And he'll text me. He's like, how's TikTok? So he can see that I'm... <laughs> he can see her on. I don't want to talk right now. I just want to zone out and watch good information. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Okay, what did, what did I do last night? Yes, Starla, you can put your eggs in the Instapot. You can also put them in the air fryer and it works just as well. Hmm. I've done that. My Instant Pot is my air fryer. I have the air fryer attachment. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm working on a new project. That's what I'm doing. We have a new uh, exclusive for LYS Day from Dream and Color that is gorgeous. And I'm working on a new design. So that's what I did yesterday. Um, I watched some show that gave me nightmares. It's okay. People will know. I, I don't know the name of it. It's on HBO. It's basically about the apocalypse, and there's a girl on it that was on Game of Thrones. Something Ramsey is the actress's name. She was a little girl mm. on oh. Game of Thrones, and she's on that. Okay. I don't. I don't watch anything and on HBO really, so I don't. Game of Thrones that got his eyeballs poked out. Oh dear. <laughs> He's on it too. I'm. Mean, let's see. Thank you, Linda. Last of Us. Okay, Linda, I had nightmares last night from that damn show. It's so good, but I literally have to have Jack tell me. I'm like, I need to know ahead of time they're going to jump out so I can be prepared. Because I have crazy imagination. It's really good, and I don't like zombie shows. Just don't hide behind him like my godmother did during Jurassic Park, because then he jumped, and then she got squished. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I have my jump reflex is horrible. <sighs> I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to be monogamous with a project temporarily, Linda, because of you and how much you finish. So I'm working on another shawl, but I'm going to say machine knit projects don't count. So I could have one of each going. So we'll see. Well, you do have to be monogamous to your machine knitting projects yeah, pretty much. All right. We are going to talk about our grand, uh, monthly grand prize. I did give the girls their presents today. They were pretty. So you guys can, maybe they'll share with you what I picked up from for them on the collective. But here is the grand prize. We have a surprise. We don't know what it is. I'm just going to say, I can't feel a zipper. I'm going to say it's a container of some sort. Yeah, because the two sides feel the same. It's a container of some sort. It's squishy, though. And another surprise, we haven't opened them up. 
Anna wants to poke a holes. There will be no holes poked. We have to wait. I know. I was That's like, maybe I can. Time. I'm like, maybe I can steam the sticker. Yeah, <laughs> steam the sticker. Oh my god, I've done that before. <laughs> Steamed open an envelope uh -huh. and used glue to seal it back up. Yes, yeah. I have. Like they have glue sure stick at the sister. dollar store. <laughs> yeah. So we've got this prize from the pop-up shop at La Bien Ami, and it actually, today was the last day of it. It was so cute. I mean, they even painted the outside yellow. So whatever they rented it for the month, probably, painted the outside yellow. And in they the have to paint it back. gorgeous passageways in Paris. They're some of my favorite to go to. Uh, Linda says no peeking. Um, so we'll see whoever's can, someone has to, whoever's the winner, you got to video it because we got to see or take pictures. You must share what was in here. And then we have one skein of dream in color in this beautiful color, lavender bloom color 049. I really like this shade. It's kind of like a gray lavender. It's kind of like what? lavender starts to look like after it starts to dehydrate a little bit you know when it's done blooming mm -hmm. and we have one of our favorite patterns called twist in turns there is enough on this one to do the small scarf which is actually super generous it's five and a half inches by 66 and it will really showcase this um pattern i love it because there's cables and then like a little twist in between so you guys can see that it's really pretty uh, and we have some beautiful smushy cashmere in stock right now thank you for sharing everyone um so how can they enter to win this mystery prize i love this idea the, of doing this mystery torture prize, prize. Um, so how you get entered into the grand prize drawing is every time you make a purchase this month, you're going to get one entry it is cumulative. So if you purchase 10 times, you get 10 entries. If you purchase 25 times, you get 20 entries, 25 entries. I, my brain is gone. I know. It's wow. gone. It's <laughs> Don't say that. You'll screw up Susan. Okay. So for every purchase, you get one entry. It includes purchases made at natikyarns.com, in person in the boutique, and even over the phone with us. And then on Tuesday, the 2nd, we will draw to see who the lucky winner is. Mm -hmm. I love that you're showing soap because we have brought in more of the individual sizes. And I highly recommend when you gift someone a knit, you pin that to their project so they know how to take care of it. So I will use our custom labels and then I pin one of those. So the label tells them how to take care of it and then they have what they need to take care of it. If you're gonna spend all the time doing the knits, you do not want them to shrink it the first time in because mm -hmm. they don't know. Um, that was one of the, when I was at the trade show I was wearing one of our, our Angora hats and I'm like I look I want labels for every kit we put together now I just think it's a nice little thing Chad did you guys like the labels in the hats or are you gonna use them because that's the thing maybe people won't use them I'm just curious inquiring minds want to know or maybe they'll like use them it. on a different project I like it because it looks branded do you know what I mean it looks yeah more high end that's my thoughts to them. I think it gives a little finishing touch to the hat because otherwise, I mean, not that Angora is not a nice hat, but that's otherwise that's a plain hat. Mm -hmm. And I like a little something. Well, you guys can get your own custom ones, but I just thought with the kits that we're doing, it's nice to have a little. I thought we could do some square ones, you know, like this with damn lamb and then the mm -hmm. ingredients. Um, all right. A little. We're going to talk about home our daily prize, which is my beautiful daughter, Loren. And we have one skein of pure organic wool. You guys can see it has the ICE stamp of approval, ICEA stamp of approval. So it's certified organic. 
Uh, the wool is chlorine free, which is kind of amazing that they got it so white. 120 yards of, I'm gonna say worsted. That's actually an Aran, almost bulky, 16 stitches over four inches. This is perfect to do it with. Um, you can do either the small or medium, and this is a really fun one with slip stitches. It's one of my favorite patterns. I've done it out of Cumulus too, and it's really, really pretty. Um, all of our patterns are available on Ravelry. We have 162 patterns currently with many and more counting. coming up through the pipelines. That is one of the things that I spent quite a bit of time is sketching and getting designs ready. So one lucky winner is going to get this prize. We do it daily uh, on our live videos that we do Tuesday through Saturday at around 10 a.m. Today, there was a whole bunch of things that were like, oh, that's not working. Oh, let's fix that. So you're gonna get one entry for every reaction. Every comment's gonna give you five. Eileen, I, I love all your stuff. I don't even know how to do that. I don't either. We're, you're cooler than we are. And then if you forward it, this is the easiest way. Share now, share to your stories. You can share it to your favorite group. And you just have to pop right in, share now. Oh my gosh, share now, share to my stories. As long as you have that in there, it'll go in the entries. And so we're gonna base this off of yesterday's video, which we had a lot of people chit chatting. And let's see who's gonna be the lucky winner of this prize. <coughs> Ooh, Bev me. Reiser, congratulations. All right, congratulations, Beverly. So how you collect your prize, if you're local, which I believe you are not, but for, not. for others who are, uh, if you're local, you collect your prizes by stopping by the boutique anytime Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and saying, I have a prize, can I pick it up? And we'll hand it right over. Now, if you're not local, then the next time you place, a, place an order, make a purchase, at natiquearns.com over the phone with us. Um, you just have to let us know online. There's a little notes section right before you check out and you can say, I have a prize and we'll pack it all up together in your pretty pink package and send it on its way. And you know what I love? It was something positive. She was congratulating Jackie. See, you get rewarded for being kind. Boom, boom, boom. As it should be. All right, check, check, check. Right? Okay. Still can't believe it's Easter tomorrow. Do you know what? I was thinking this morning, it's the first year I have not bought Easter candy. And let me just say, my gosh, it's so much cheaper not buying C's <laughs> yeah. candy for five to six people. But that means I have no C's candy. Which is a bummer. It's my favorite candy in the world. Scotch mallows. Mm, I like vanilla buttercreams. They're the boring ones, but they're so good. I, I do have to stop like by on my lunch. If you're getting like the assorted boxes, I'd rather have buttercreams than like the nuts and chews. Yeah. Everyone has a favorite. All right, we are gonna do a little bit of uh, shop business because you guys blew the sales out of the water yesterday on the LYS day, 2023. Sold out of merino clouds, sold out of beaded silk and sequins, almost sold out of um, the beautiful silky twist. So here's what we did. I placed another order. It'll be here in a couple of weeks. There is a pre-order up on the website. So for people who wanted more of either of the Merino Cloud, the Silky Twist, or Beaded Silk and Sequins, Susan has done a pre-order on them. You can just put it in as a purchase. And when it comes in, we will ship it to you. We're gonna show you the two designs. We have this a beautiful cowl. This is, uh, what would we name this one? Um, spring daybreak. Thank you. Spring daybreak. Uh, this is the medium size cowl, 30 inches. It is one skein of silky twist. So you can pick that up right now. And then we have 
one skein of beaded silk and sequins. However, if oh, yes. you want a little bling bling sister, I think that's going to be I amazing. I love this combination. Like, we picked this up for Darla. I can't wait for her to cast this one on. But here is, if you want your beaded silk and sequins to really show, show, you can use color 247. Uh, if you want the LYS Day 2023, just do it as a pre-order. We have about 10 skeins coming for that one. A very easy, fun pattern. And then I'll show you the one skein version of LYSA 2023. We have a lot of people who bought the beaded silk and sequins for this. And they're just going to continue the border at the bottom. So there's a little bit of heaviness to the shawl. It really hangs nicely. That's I love beaded silk and sequins at the bottom. So they're, like I said, if you are interested in... You were interested in more of those you can do a pre-order of them and that will be the last shipment that we do of this one i was i mean normally we had enough for a couple of weeks but apparently everyone loved the pastels with the neon i'm gonna say it's super hot you guys saw my photos at the trade show neon and i like that this is subtle yeah, like neon. there's neon in there, but it's not in your face neon. Yep, Darla, that's what you bought. It's going to be so pretty. All right, so that's a little bit of housekeeping. I'm really excited about this next yarn. Oh, my gosh. We'll tell you guys before I go that. Shiny I'm squirrel. I'm working on a project with Dream and Color for the most gorgeous sweater. I want to do maybe in June, we do a knit along with it. Um, and it's got beautiful colors of, it's little squares of 24 colors. And so what we're going to do is we're only going to sell the colors and then you can pair it with um, the base color yourself. So you could use Merino Cloud, you could use Lamb and Goat. The colors are gonna be in the Lamb and Goat. So just to give you a little preview, I know, squirrely, squirrely. I'm like, those aren't even organized all that well anymore. That's all right. <laughs> we'll show you guys. Because these two don't go. Yep. These went together. These You get to choose the order yourself. These are in it. These are in it. Basically all but these two. These. And then these two are subs. One? That one went with, oh, I had them in a sort of organization. So hold on, I got to think. This is hold Cole. We'll make Cole pretty. went with, Cole went with Redwood. Okay. And they're dying a pink because you guys know me. I yeah. need Right, pink. And we're missing the mulberry because mm -hmm. the only mulberry we have is your sweater in yeah. progress. So this is just a little preview. They're going to be half skeins and we're going to design a cowl to go with it too. I can't, do you guys want to see it? I'm going to hold on. I'm just so excited about this. I saw it at Stitches. I've been dreaming about it. So I know I need it and it's a lot easier for people to have a kit, I felt than having to figure it out yourself. Man, I wish I had I know, the where's the picture of the color that's like this? Okay, that we'll one's close. say this one. You guys, here's a little kid's version. You so, could make a May May and Everly you, set. There's enough yarn that you can do a kid size. It's so cute. I can't decide if I'm gonna make it into a cardigan or if I'm just going to, I mean, look at all these people did a whole bunch of different things. Who steaked into a cardigan would be fun. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let me find Veronica so you guys can see, because we did base it off of this when I saw it stitches. And I may have showed you guys yesterday, but I talked to Veronica and I was like, okay, Let's get on it. Here it is. So the kit is going to give you this yarn. And then you have to pick the body yarn yourself. 
because it's the easiest way to do it. And I love, it's only two colors per square. So it's easy, easy, easy. And if you guys, we did um, Marie Green's Sail Away out of Lamb and Goat. It's probably everyone's favorite fingering weight yarn. It was fabulous out of Lamb and Goat. And it makes it more uh, a value. They're splitting the skeins in half for us. So it's a lot cheaper than you having to buy 22 colors yourself. For the larger sizes, you'll have to duplicate. Maybe your beginning and your end are the same, but that gives you some options. It's so beautiful. So that's coming up through the pipelines in May. If those aren't our final colors, but that's kind of where we're at right now. So remember, stay tuned. LYS Day, we have so many exciting things we've been working on. Darla, it is not time, con it's easy. It's knit three with one color, knit three with the other. It's Fair Isle at its easiest. Very easy. It, Fair Isle is just knitting and it's just counting how many stitches of each color. Pam, send me a picture of what a live looks like and I will um, give you some suggestions. I know it's a very busy variegated one, like no fancy patterning with that color. Darla, you got us. You don't have to be confident. We have enough confidence for you. I've got oh, confidence Susan, for the both of us. Susan already found something. Susan, of course she so did. Good. Speedy Gonzalez. Slow day sweater. Oh yeah, that's perfect because that color is so busy. Like it's all about the beautiful color. And there was something that I talked about with Cindy Pert. So uh, let me show you guys. I'm going to draw it. Because if you're doing hand dyes and you have issues with the skeins might not be exactly alike, the oh, easiest yeah. way is to do three skeins at the same time. So you have skein number A over here. You work across the row. You drop A and you pick up B. You work across the row and then C's here. Then you work across the row and the only yarn to put there is A. Then you come back over here, B, C. And it makes your sweater so pretty because the entire sweater is gonna look the same. You're not gonna have any discrepancy in colors. Your As color is much more cohesively mm -hmm. blended on variegated colors. A lot of times they'll have two rows, two rows, two rows, two rows. You can get some slight striping, but this way of doing every row is a different skein. It blends flawlessly in the round I do one row one like one round one round mm -hmm. because then it the stripes are so little that it blends them enough to not yeah. notice yeah you could still do the three like one 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 you know uh when you guys are buying multiple uh skeins we actually pull all of them out and pair them the best um, that go together, but sometimes when they're wound, they don't look quite that same, but we go out of our way. We're not just grabbing the first three. We literally will lay them out and pick the best that go with it because nothing is more irritating that you get a light one and six dark ones. And you're like, all right, how am I going to make that one go together? I have sweaters like that, that I was like, whew, that's a nice line. Or you know what I'll do? The cuffs. Or yeah, hands. or the sleeves. Like, like other ways to do this one. Here's a new pattern coming out. Parisian assignment. Is that the best name? So that's a new pattern coming. All right. I'm excited to talk about a brand new spring summer yarn. Um, it is by Barocco, which you guys know. Barocco is a mid-range yarn. It's high quality, but the price point is just very affordable. Um, we have a couple designs that we're currently working on. One's finished, one's in progress, but it's a great t-shirt project. It does all the work. All you have to do is stock a net and it's magic by itself. And the one of the things I really love are the colors that are in this. 
So here we are, Barocco Summer Sesame. It is a worsted weight. And here's what I love about it. It's a blend. It's 47% cotton, 44% acrylic, 9% nylon. 295 yards for under $20. Three of those, enough to do a t-shirt. Easy. Easy t-shirt. And we're gonna sh have some patterns for you guys uh, to showcase. It is milled in Italy. It is machine washed separately on cold water, delicate cycle, yada, yada, yada. Uh, lay flat to dry. Truthfully, I'm gonna put it in a low dryer. The, it's a great price for what you get. You can see it is a striped yarn and the fibers dye differently. So you're getting many different looks for this one. I love the price point. Um, you're gonna knit on a six to seven needle. So it's actually a light worsted. You could get up to 21 stitches over four inches. Or if you're a crocheter, 19 single crochets and 22 rows on a seven needle. It's really soft too. Um, it does have a cotton feel, but it's not it's crunchy. It's silky. Mm -hmm. Susan posted Which, her sweater alternating three skeins in the collective. I didn't know she had one. Me, me either. <laughs> so we're curious minds want to yeah. know what sweater are you knitting with three skeins? Hey, link it, would you? Mm-hmm. Um, color 5250 is this first one with pretty soft periwinkle blue lavenders, some mauve, some soft caramel, a little bit of a really light sage, and you can kind of see the texture that you've got like these little bunched up little nips, so you get a little bit of a tweed texture from those. One of the strands is like a dark, almost black. So you're getting the little speckles from that. So you get this really pretty color and texture play. And this yarn does self stripe in kind of quick color changes. All right. Depending on how many stitches your project is, will determine whether it's lots of, whether it's big stripes or little stripes. All right, let's show a couple of fun patterns. I love this one. Ooh, that's pretty. This is a blend of a solid, you could use cumulus, solid, paired with um, summer sesame, and it's gonna give you this great two color look. That's just slip stitches. If you have a machine, you could actually do that on the machine. It's almost yeah. like the red and blue top that I'm doing right now. Isn't that cute? That's really cute and easy. Mm -hmm. Slip stitches are ridiculously easy. I love this Ooh, one. This cute. is again a solid with a little bit on top. I think that's really pretty. Just little, little crisscrossies. And then, oh, no, we did that one already. Go the other way. Oh, here's a crochet one. This one's got a cute little, um, like, shell lace detail up the middle, and then the vertical stripes, and then the lace detail on the bottom. That's the Benedetta sweater, or tee, I should say. This, I'm trying to get a bigger picture, but I guess I don't get one. Um, this is the Sierra top, which is worked side to side with this beautiful like eyelet lace detail. And then we have, there we go, Zeely. Oh, this is another crochet one. This is a really cute, simple tee. You probably just have a little tiny bit of increasing right here and then keep going. And then a little bit of shaping here, which 
crochet shaping is ridiculously easy. You just generally just stop and turn around and go the other way. Maybe a decrease, but not a lot of patterning required in that one. Then, oh, this is cute. This is the Tahoe bag. It's like a little drawstring duffel bag. But it's got this really pretty texture on it. They kind of look like little triangles. It gives it almost a woven look when it's blended with this self-striping yarn. Then, oh, this is cute. This is another one where you'd pair it with something like Cumulus. This is Severin, which has these cute little, they look like little plants. Don't they look like plants? Like little branched out? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then a little V-neck. I love the, pla the placket that you're getting there, the overlap. That's cute. That one's really cute. All right, let's show you a different color. This one is really pretty. Color number 5237. This one has pretty like grass greens, denim and navy blues, lilac and lavender. There's a little bit of like a goldenrod yellow in there some turquoise. This one reminds me of like the lavender fields up by Mount Shasta. I love that. All right. Hold on. Let me kick some of the things loose. I really like that one. Okay. Look at this fun one. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I like the side to side. And, okay, I'm not normally a fringe person. I don't mind that. It gives it almost like that high-low kind of look to it, the way mm -hmm. they trimmed the fringe. I think it's that it's pulled up here. Yeah, it could be. Oh, no, look at it. Oh, it, it is, is high-low. <laughs> cute. I that's thought cute. they were tricking. Now, you wouldn't have to do that if you don't want to. You could do a little tiny. It does make it lay flat. I would use a rotary cutter because I'm neurotic and I want it to they be the same They all need to be length. the same. Yes, that would drive me crazy. All right. The next color is 5242. This one is really pretty shades of mostly blues. You've got denim there's a little bit of like an indigo violet some dark teal with highlights of like a chartreuse green some sand this is like a really like this is like the watercolor version of indigo it's like that soft blue violet and then a little pop of like an emerald to jade green very oh, much for the blue green people. We forgot she was knitting this. Oh, you're doing alternating three skeins on this one? This I wanted her beautiful. to put I wanted her to do the link to her picture of yeah. her progress. Not the pattern. We like it though. We like that I Susan's love this pattern. turning into a sweater knitter. Mm -hmm. Considering we run warm, it's ironic. She's been cold lately. She needs a sweater. Okay. I like it. Now that it's about to actually get warm again. Mm, I love this color. This is color 5245. This one is deep sage and olive greens, a little bit of evergreen, and then a little bit of lavender and indigo, some teal... There's little hits of like a salmon color in there. Look at someone did night shift out of it. 
Oh, well, that would be, hours. this would be a perfect mm -hmm. yarn for all of those patterns that call for the, the shifty yarns. Mm -hmm. The spin cycle. Yeah. Because this is so much softer. It is. Look at how cute that is. That's beautiful. All right. No more for you. No zoom for you. All right. We have this beauty. I feel like this should be called Cape Cod. Five two four nine for Rockaway Beach because this looks like the rocks right below mm -hmm. the hotel. This is got pewter gray and charcoal, silver, but then there's highlights of kind of more of a gold and salmon. So your highlights in the little tweed threads are more warm tone, and then your grays are all of that cooler gray. Okay, I really like this one. Sideways tee. It's wear super wearable. I mean, look, it's just knit, 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 knit. And then you have a little, okay, the sleeves are a little bit big for her, in my opinion. This is where I get picky. <laughs> but it's really for me. Um, I, li I even like the garter stitch at the edge. What are her notes? Four skeins. Dream to work with. Soft, drapey. Uh, pattern very easy. Making a medium as I don't want it to be too baggy. It's really cute. This is a good idea. She started a new ball of yarn for each quadrant and used the remnants for finishing. I have decided to re knit this sweater shorter. The hemline's just too long. It gives a more tunic feel, which is okay. I really like when people put all these notes on. I like it being baggy though. I think that's cute. Kind of like what I'm wearing today. Like it's an over, do you know what I mean? Like this, where it's just a loose fitted. Yeah, it's got some wiggle room. Mm -hmm. It's just comfortable. Hmm, I already know what color I want to do. I love this. This is Susan's color for mm -hmm. sure. Summer Sesame color 5261. Pretty um, sage and olive greens, a little emerald. Then you've got like more of a blue violet, red violet, dark plum. Very purple and green. I want to show the pattern because this sideways, this is why no one's made it. This gorgeous, right? Look uh -huh. at this. Boring. Boring. It's so much cuter. That is what picking the right yarn does. Mm hmm Because that is not exciting at all. But the other one, I mean, it's very interesting sizing. Look at small medium large and it goes from a 28 to a 50 knit from the center out to each size rather than okay, so cute tapered shape allows for ease at the bust while providing a relaxed and flattering bottom edge at hip length eight pages i mean that's an expensive design 11 dollars 12 dollars that would be the other reason why not a lot of people have knit it needs a pattern I don't know I sometimes do anyway look at this cute one this is by Caitlin Hunter the easy V love this that's using summer sesame that's really pretty like it makes it look like you changed colors way more times than you actually did they must have two colors though because yeah this green is let's see what she I'm says like, I know that sweater spare aisle so oh, they've got to have so one skein of summer sesame, and then one the marmal is what's doing the dark. Oh yeah, because marmal was very similar to uh -huh. this. I think same mill. Okay, this is the one I'm in love with. I'm sure you're surprised. Not at all. So pretty. This is color number five two five two. It's like so pretty jewel tone rainbow. It is, and it's, it's like, I don't, 
normally like any of this. I like this, but I think that would be really pretty. As you literally have those colors on your nails. <laughs> okay, this is a stretch for me because I'm not a pastel, <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun. And I put glitter all over it. To yeah. To kind of be like, ooh. To jazz it kind up. Kind of blingy. But yeah. it's like you have this muted teal and you I have know. the lavender. Then there's orchid and kind of a really pretty cranberry powder blue. That. that is kind yeah, of surprising. See? These you're three like, colors. Your Easter nails are in the skein. Mm -hmm. Some golden rods, some citrus orange. <laughs> Bless oh, you. Excuse me. Woo. So we have, Susan actually has a project that she started. It's, this is, she likes this one, this pattern. This is maybe mm -hmm. number three. Number okay. two or three. Well, I know two for sure because, you know, she just wore one yesterday. Oh, true. But I don't know if she knitted one for Meg. I feel like she did. So Susan is knitting this wrap. This is Earth Orbit, spelled U-R-T-H, with this cute little short row section that, I mean, obviously we threw in some beaded silk and sequins for glitter. Here it is right here. I love, now she didn't do anything special, but really, look, who doesn't want the heart to be special? Yeah, when you make the heart pop out, it's just way more exciting. Uh, I believe that'll take a couple of skeins. Yeah, 550 to 870. So, so two are to you three. doing two, two of these? Are you doing two skein size, Shujin? Oh my God, I love it. She won't even say Shujin anymore, but we it's stuck. I know, we still do for her. I love her. that Eileen does that too. Shujin? Ooh, okay, look at this one came through. That's beautiful. You would do this part. Yeah, the little short row mm -hmm. lace You can eyes. see, look at, here's the colors, that one and that one. Actually, lots of people. Oh, and we have Remix. It doesn't yeah. get any better than that. We have everything you need. So Remix, one Remix, maybe two Remixes. Two Remixes and one Sesame. That's all. Gardens of Giverny Shawl. Isn't that gorgeous? Two skeins plus beaded silk and sequins. All right, we are gonna showcase what we're wearing. I don't know what I did with our slips. It's gone. Um, it's the very easy garter stitch shawl, cause you know, fancy names. Karen whips out, I mean, I hadn't been here for two weeks, but it was like, here's what I made. Boom, 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 boom. This is One Skin Wonder. Mm-hmm. Such a cute little shawlette. Make it into a cowboy cowl. There's good, what I like about it, look at the good stretch on it. Gotta love garter stitch. Mm hmm It is both stretchy and squishy. It does look like Monet, Melanie. I'm obsessed. And Karen used yeah. color number 5245. Five. This is one skein. Susan's used which was actually supposed to have more stockinette in between, but oops, design element. Then some more Fair Isle, and then knit, knit, knit. Did you knit the body on the machine? Yes, because seams. And the hems, which we love. I'm addicted now. Like, yeah. I can't go back to regular hems. I don't know. Someone I was talking to yesterday about that. I love the hems on the sides. Like once you go split hem, you really can't go back. Mm -hmm. Here's uh, Miss Needles on Fire. Right? <laughs> I'm like, I haven't even finished yes. one thing in two weeks and you've got like four. Yes. 
I mean, it's gorgeous. This, yeah, is, you talked about this one, this color. I love all the yarn overs. Yeah, this was when we did this yarn in the video. She's like, how come I didn't buy this color? I'm like, yeah. I don't know, but you can buy it now. Yeah, so I came back and bought it. <laughs> Whipped this out, you know. That one is Silk Moon Crescent Shawl, yeah, I think. Yeah. We lost the sheet. I don't know where that went, this though. This one's gained super easy. Yarn overs. I know. Knit I and yarn overs. I think it's really pretty. And I like how you style it with the one coming over. <clears throat> yeah. And your little brooch or brooch. Yeah. Uh, I have lots of brooches. So. Yeah. Silk Moon Crescent Shawl. And then like Shujin is uh, heading up. Paris in Berlin modified because I put beads in it. It is not written for beads, but it would be so stunning in the El Rieste color. It would. Oh, yeah. Use a bigger needle. Mine's a little small. It's bigger in the picture. I like Will that you size, take it though. off your neck to show all the beadwork? I I like the weight of beads. Definitely. Like beads, beads, beads. How did you decide More where to beads. place everything? In the pattern. Sorry, I'm moving on you. I'm like I was I know. I'm like I was moving <laughs> to the other part. So this these are all supposed to be pearl bumps. Oh. So I put so a that bead was there. An easy one to do. And then this one, it's on It's the knit stitch between yeah. the slip five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't remember if I you know if it's before that one or after that one. Isn't but. that stunning? And it has really nice weight. It does. We are going to start carrying beads in the store probably next month. We have Woot. to decide which colors we want. The gorgeous Japanese uh, seed beads that Susan's been lusting after for years. So I'm like, oh. all right, we can do it. Like we'll just room. feed her beads <laughs> dash. Exactly. Um, let's talk about what classes we've got going on. We've got a few minutes. Four. Oh. This is what Karen is wearing. The concept by Katya Summer Tweed Degradé. It's a beautiful color. Color 101. 101. Kind of similar. This one looks a little heavier. It's got hemp in like it. Yeah, I was going to say linen. Cotton knit hemp polyester. The blends are what stabilize the cotton. So we have coming up a variety of classes this is one i need to knit it's coming up soon this is the cumulus scoop neck tee maybe that's what i need to knit this weekend uh we've been talking about that one for people who want to learn how to knit an easy summer sweater there's no sleeves but you can put a sleeve on it but it's got a really nice little short rows at the top to have a little bit of a drapey neck that is a three session class via Zoom. Um, one class is only an hour and then the next two classes are two hours. So in total, it's a five hour class over three sessions, which is about six weeks. Why we do it so far apart is we don't wanna burn you out that you have so much knitting to do that you don't enjoy your knitting. So that's a really fun one. We have Sophie coming up. That's one of our $5 classes. Really fun. It's a one hour class uh, knit on a size four needle. Frankly, you could use any yarn. Just pick an equivalent needle. Just make sure you have enough yarn. It'd be gorgeous and worsted. We've seen it. I mean, I've seen it in I've so many different every options yarn. now. I think it's super pretty. Uh, you guys know assigned pooling is probably the hottest trend right now. We have two more designs coming up, but this is cobalt comet um it is a two session class um and we recommend dream and colors uh planned pooling assigned pooling for this because we're just in love with their yarns stay tuned for an exclusive for lys day that's beautiful and then last but not least we have this quick cowl uh, Floor de Jade. It is a one hour class using Noventa between uh, one, two, and three skeins. Did you, I tell you that um, Knitting Fever called me about how come the small one takes more? It was on something else. Oh, I'm like, like, cause the small cause is tall. Taller. That's why. Like it's the, small and tall. The, the least amount of knitting is always our medium size because it's not uh, the short, 
narrower ones are long, so it's more like a turtleneck, I would say. All right, my lovelies. I'm very excited. It's nice to be back. Um, I'm enjoying, I don't, I don't teach today, so that's nice. Come on in and say hi. Oh, do you want to show them some of our planned pulling or signed pulling? Because we have some beautiful. Yeah, these are lots of good colors that are available in the Dream and Color Trunk Show. So many good colors in Smushy Cashmere. And they are going to be going very soon. Yeah, I'm like, I don't even know when they're supposed to go back, but I know it's soon. They're supposed to go back. All right, my friends, if you have any questions or comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to me at hello at Natique Yarns. I'm the only one who answers it. I answered it during my, when I was on my work trip slash vacation, uh, but we're here to help you in any way necessary. So thank you so much, everyone. Have an amazing day and we'll see you live on Tuesday at 10 a.m.